Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're looking at this Poulon 2150 Super Clean Saw. Um, working on this saw, we're going to have a few different videos with this unit. I'm going to have a full playlist specifically for the Poulon 2150 Super Clean, okay? We've got our Poulon Predator that we've did a little port work and built a custom muffler for. Um, today we're going to be tearing this down, cleaning it up, and we'll be doing another video doing the port work we'll do a video making a custom exhaust and then we'll do a video doing full assembly once we're done so if you're looking to take one of these apart hopefully i'll be able to walk you right through the steps on how to do that if you want to try to do some of the other stuff i'll have tools and parts in the description of the video below you guys shop those links they support the channel and uh, i appreciate it so if you're here and you're looking forward to this series give me a thumbs up leave me a comment don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell hit all so you guys don't miss future uploads and with that let's get started all right guys so i've already got the barn chain off got that cover off um you're gonna need a t what is this t25 your scrunch to remove those things you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket i've got some t wrenches i i like this setup much better than a socket wrench for working on the saws I like this setup, T wrench as well for taking things apart. So, again, those will be in the description, guys. Let's get this cover off, though. We got to get this thing cleaned up. This saw is a mess. I got a video uh, just put up. We put new gas lines, new filters, new carburetor, all from Amazon. I'll have that link below as well. But that video should be popping up here if you want to go back and check that out. First one in the series. The whole point of it really was just to make sure the saw is going to run. Um, before we did too much else with it so right now it does run runs okay i've had saws run much better but whatever we'll take it for what it is so removing that cover first next we're going to get in i'm going to remove this carburetor um that's going to be the two bolts right here i'll bring you come on get a little closer bring you guys in close once our cover's off, filters aside, like I said, we're going to try to break this off fully down. You want to make sure your gas is totally drained, okay? Um, I've already drained the gas. There's some in the primer bulb, some in the lines, but I'm not too concerned about that. Got to remove that throttle linkage. Just kind of pull the carb forward. Grabbing my flashlight and rope, looking down in, spinning the flywheel away from me. We're going to watch the piston come all the way up, and then we'll back it off a little bit. We don't want to open up the exhaust port, though, right? So see how it's moving in there? So we'll be able to bring it up, bring it down just a little bit, stuff the rope in there, then you'll twist it forward again. It'll hold everything tight. This way you'll be able to undo the nut for the flywheel. And you'll be able to get your sprocket off as well while the piston is stopped on the rope.
Next, we'll take a four millimeter Allen key and uh, we'll get in there and take out the two screws that hold our ignition coil in place. Getting ready to remove that flywheel. We gotta put the original nut back on. Twist it down so the nut is flush with the top of the bolt. See there, it's flush. You're gonna take your hammer, ball peen, whatever. Good couple smacks. It loosens it right up. Because this is a Poulon, you'll need this attachment. I'll have one linked in the description below through Amazon. You guys purchase, help support the channel. This is gonna help you remove the clutch pop it in like that you can use your scrunch you can use a ratchet use whatever you want I just use the scrunch it's right there in hand this rope is still in the cylinder you'll need to spin this clockwise to remove it so I'm going the wrong way right here but you'll need to spin this forward towards the exhaust yep towards the exhaust in order to loosen this up and remove it Well, accidentally deleted it, but there's four bolts on the bottom that hold the motor and you gotta undo those. They take an eight millimeter socket. Then this will come right out like that. All right, we got those parts cleaned up. Let's uh, pull our rope out. It already just split on me. It's kind of keeping it together because once you pull your bolts, this bad boy's coming apart. Got some light, light scoring on this piston. Might see what I can do about a new piston and cylinder for this. See about a kit or even a whole new motor. I mean, I've seen stuff for these online for like 20 bucks. I mean, some people would say, why waste your time? Well, to practice porting and stuff on a motor for 20 bucks, to me, that's worth it. This is this is just practice before I get into the steel units that I have. And uh, I, don't, I don't mind practicing, you know. I have to see what I can find online. Just look at, gonna probably be looking for something cheap. Something I can just hog out and stick back together, you know, run it. 
The only bummer is, is I'm not, I don't think I'm going to assemble the whole thing with, with the new motor, per se, that I'm looking at, or I'll be thinking about getting, you know. I may end up just, uh, just buying it, farting around with it, and going from there. I need a new gasket for this anyway, it looks like. That one didn't want to let go. So, if you've made it this far, congratulations. It's kind of a longer video, I guess, but I appreciate you watching. Appreciate you guys viewing and hitting subscribe. If anybody wants to buy me a coffee, feel free to hit that join tab. That money will go toward coffee or even toward parts. So, I appreciate y'all. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And I'll see you in the next video.